Okay, so we're looking at Formula 7 here. So only two more to go, one more after this. Uh, and we want to prove that sine A plus B is equal to sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. So again, our green box, I'd recommend pausing the video and writing down this green box here. So as with the previous two videos, we start off with cos A minus B or something very similar. We replace A with 90 minus A. And then you need to remember that cos of 90 minus theta is equal to sine theta, and sine of 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta. And that's really important, but I'll go and explain that a little bit now. So you can actually check this on your calculator, that if you type in cos of 90 minus 30, that will be the same as sine 30, or cos of 90 minus 45, that's the same as sine 45, cos of 90 minus 10, that's the same as sine 10 and it works vice versa as well so you could have a scenario where it's sine of 90 minus 30 is equal to cos 30 sine of 90 minus 10 is equal to cos 10 and probably the most sort of famous one that people recognize is this one that the sine of well what's 90 minus 45 that's 45 so the sine of 45 degrees is equal to the cos of 45 degrees and it's fairly common people would recognize that fact even without it officially being stated to you Okay, so we're remembering that sine of 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta, and cos of 90 minus theta is equal to sine of theta. Let's go back to the green box. So again, so we're going to start off by writing down cos of A minus B, and what we get to. We're going to replace A with 90 minus A on both sides, the left-hand side and the right-hand side, and see what develops. So yellow box is where we're proving it. And let's talk through it so it's a nice and short one if you want you could pause the video and write this down line for line or maybe wait a second listen to the explanation and then write it down line for line so we said we start off cos a minus b is equal to cos a cos b plus sine a sine b i find it useful to put a little bracket in around the a and go look we're replacing the a with 90 minus a 90 minus a 90 minus a what do you know about those well, this one is going to end up as sine of A, which we've done, and this one is going to end up as cos of A, so the key point from the green box. Here, we do a little bit of um, multiplying out, I suppose. We're just removing the brackets, and then we reinstall the brackets. So the red, underlined red section here is a little bit strange. We're factorizing out minus. Think, what would happen if you multiply this minus back into this bracket? you would get back to here. So that's the hard step of this video. That underlined red section, I feel anyways, is the hard step that people forget about. And treat that bracket as theta. So if a purple theta drawn in above it, so it's cos of 90 minus theta would end up being sine of theta. And here on the right hand side, it's already proved. Or we've already gotten to what we want to aim for. And that's QED then. That's the end of the question that's approved as well and then the next video is my favorite one of the proofs it's the one that also comes up the most op often so tan a plus b so make sure you um really pay attention to that one